Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the greatest of two numbers in C. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include stdio dot h hash include conio dot h wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare two variables of type integer int a comma b clr scr is a function which is used to clear the screen now I am going to ask the user to enter two numbers using printf function so in a double quotation mark I will write enter two numbers backward slash n brings the cursor down to the next line now in order to receive the two values I am going to use scanf function and here in a double quotation mark I am going to write a format specifier percentage %d and percentage %d for both a and b so end the double quotation mark put comma ampersand of a and ampersand of b closing bracket brace and put semicolon now we will check the condition if a is greater than b we have to print that is a is greatest so for that I will write in printf statement double quotation mark percentage %d format specifier is greatest end the double quotation mark and put comma a and else part if this condition is false then we have to execute the else part so here I am going to write printf percentage %d is greatest and the double quotation mark put comma b and then put semicolon here we'll write get ch function and curly closing brace now let us take an example so when we compile and run this program we'll be asked to enter two numbers here i'm going to write enter two numbers just because of this backward slash n the cursor will come down to the next line so it is going to ask two numbers and first number is stored in a and the second number will be stored in b for example i'm going to enter 5 and the second number is 10 so a will be stored uh, sorry 5 will be stored in a and 10 will be stored in b here we are going to check the condition so what what is the condition if a is greater than b a means what a is 5 b is what 10 so is 5 is greater than 10 no condition fails once the condition fails this statement will not get executed control directly transfers to else part so it is going to print percentage %d so here this format specifier holds the value stored in b so b is what 10 so it is going to display 10 is greatest let us take one more run so we'll write run 2 now once again it will ask the user to enter two numbers here I'm going to enter I'm going to interchange the numbers now 10 and the second number is 5 so 10 is equated in variable a and 5 is equated in variable b so now once again we are going to check the condition if a is greater than b so a is what 10 greater than b is what 5 so is this true 10 is greater than 5 yes it is true if it is true then the first statement will get executed so what it displays it is going to display the value stored in this variable called a so a is holding 10 so here it is going to display 10 is greatest now let us execute this program 
For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here uh, you can see I have already uh, written this program to save your time in Turbo C++ uh, compiler. Now let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here you can see it is showing success. There is no syntax error. And I'm going to press enter. And now it's time to run the program by pressing Control F9. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter two numbers. And you can see the cursor is blinking down to the next line. It is just because of backward slash N. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter 5 and press enter 10 and then press enter. Here you can see it is showing 10 is greatest. Once again, we are going to run this program by pressing control F9. Now I'm going to reverse the number. So that is I'm going to write first 10 that is stored in a variable A and now I'm going to enter 5 this value will be stored in a variable b. Now I'm going to press enter. So this time also it is showing 10 is greatest. I hope you understood. If so, please type in a comment box as understood. Thank you.